Good morning, everybody. This is Paul with the uh, Torah Life Ministries and Raw Life Health Show. And uh, I've had this health ministry here for many, many years. And it all began to meet with me when I suffered from <clears throat> inflammatory bowel disease, also known as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And at the time, uh, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease was not really a well-known uh, a well-known disease. And today it's very prevalent and a lot of people know about it and they still don't know what to do. And uh, so it's quite a uh, harmful or, or scary when they, not even people know about the disease, but now, you know, people recognize it and hear it. Well, for me, I always remember as I get up today and uh, I'm having decent bowel movements and I'm going to the bathroom regularly. Uh, I always remember and never forget the those situations and those times where I wasn't and and and, and just how it ruined my life as a, as a young person. Uh, but I think about all the people I've helped over the years uh, with the information I share about healing from IBD. And so, if you suffer from any intestinal disorders, uh, you know something's wrong with your diet because we're not supposed to be suffering with stomach pain and colon issues. Uh, but let's not look at uh, why we got sick and let's look at how we can get better and stay healthy. So I have a website called Healing Inflammatory Bowel Disease. Well, basically Heal IBD. And those of you that are watching this right now probably suffer from or know somebody who's suffering from ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, which is also uh, as part of uh, inflammatory bowel disease. So on Heal IBD at the bottom, I have a bunch of supplements. Now, there are a bunch of teachers out there uh, today that teach about how to get better from inflammatory bowel disease, and they don't recommend supplements. And they think it's all related to diet, which it is. It's 100% related to diet, the illness. But the healing, uh, the supplements can help tremendously in healing. And, uh, and and people I suggest this to, they, they, they get much more improvement on these supplements than if they wouldn't. And so on these supplements, uh, you can go to healibd.com. And I'm not doing this for money. I, I consult people with inflammatory bowel disease free of charge. And if anyone watching this and has ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease or knows someone who does, if you contact me, I'll be happy to talk to you to help you. Uh, but uh, please go first look at the videos at healibd.com and then look at the products under there. Uh, look at the products that I have under there. And get those products from wherever you can. Get those products, and they will help your situation tremendously. And, of course, in my videos, I talk about the diets and everything else. But today I wanted to talk about something that I did not know of when I was suffering with my inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, but then I, I learned about it. And uh, it's this product right here called Acetantin. Acetantin. And I would say this is the number one or maybe one or two uh, products somebody should get if they have ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. And uh, the reason why I, I wanted to remind you of this today is because this is the world's highest antioxidant, but also the best inflammatory uh, thing you could take uh, or dealing with inflammatory. This is you could take it reduces inflammation better than anything else out there in the world. And in my email today from this company, Velasta, which I, I, I sell this one, Velasta, and it, it, this company is different than everyone else out there because most companies out there, uh, the way they process this, it's only uh, 8 to 10% absorbable. This company, it's, it's uh, up to 80 to 90% absorbable, the way they do it because they have a... Uh, a method of doing it, and I speak a lot about that in, in, in these videos. But there's a report that uh, I found on the internet and just always looking to uh, help people with inflammatory bowel, bowel disease. And this is a, a scientific report that says uh, uh, acetantin inhibits uh, colitis and colitis-associated uh, colon car carcinogens in mice uh, via uh, mutilation of the inflammatory uh, issues. So basically, this report was done in 2011 that was based on scientific uh, studies. And there's a big report here. I'll put the link below the video and also a link where you can get this. Uh, there's a link below the video that talks about this product and, and, and how it's helped people with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease uh, get better. And again, uh, 
please, please get this if you're if you're suffering. And uh, and uh, this is also, you know, when you look at this, um, I don't know, like you know, desperate people will do desperate things. And one of the issues is, you know, you need to saturate yourself with something like this. And it's it's a uh, it's sad that it's so much money, but it's such a great product and a process that it's used to do it. This is one of the most the, the inexpensive ones you could find on the market uh, as well. So it's a great quality one, an inexpensive one. And I'm not making uh, a business and money off of uh, like a lot of money off of something like this. I'm doing this to help you all. I'm doing this. I could simply go to. Uh, the internet, and I can go to Walmart or somewhere else and get a, a, a cheap, less quality product of astaxanthin and make a great markup and make a good amount of money. But anyone that's had colitis over the years know that I, I never take a cent if I'm charging, if I'm, if I'm consulting you for inflammatory bowel disease. My heart wants to see you get better. These other items that I that I, I recommend, these other supplements, I can throw them on my website and mark them up and sell them. No. I mean, I wish I was able. I had the manpower and the time to to get all these on my website, but I just don't. But, I, but I'm sending you to these companies to get all these products, the, the brain on and the oregano oil and the Redmond clay and the, and, the, and the probiotics and aloe vera. Go to those links and get them. Get these items. But, uh, but the videos are really important uh, in, in terms of what we should eat and we shouldn't eat. And there's different stages of colitis. There's stages of when people are, are suffering and stages when people are not suffering, uh, but they're in remission and so on. And after being on a particular diet for many, many years and never having any issues, I tried to go off the diet and all of a sudden I had more issues. It's a diet-related illness. Some people say uh, colitis runs in the family. No, it's the diet that runs in the family. See, we all have inherited weaknesses. And some people, it might be their colon. Some people, it might be their heart or some other organs of the body. But we got to be sensitive to those uh, areas that are susceptible to these issues. And all the toxins that are in food today uh, will bring those out. It's almost like uh, playing Russian roulette, right, with a gun that has uh, six chambers and only one bullet in there. So every time you do something or eat something you shouldn't be eating, you're pulling the trigger. And not every time it's going to create a reaction, but one time it will. And it just takes that one time to, to suffer from, from the illness that so many people suffer from. Uh, so we need to do uh, something about this. And we need to, uh, we need to make sure we're, we realize this and, uh, and do better and do better. So... Uh, so, you know, that's why I give you these guidelines and these suggestions. And that's why I do so well at the raw food diet because, I mean, I don't even miss cooked food or animal foods. I thrive at eating the raw foods. But I'm warning people now, if you're, if you're suffering from inflammatory bowel disease, you know, it, it's, 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 you can get better. But you have to also understand that, you know, you, you, you can't play around with this. You can't. Just think you can uh, eat whatever you want and you're not going to suffer. And uh, we have to be careful. We really have to be careful if we want to get well. Uh, so please, and even if you don't have inflammatory bowel disease, this astaxanthin is, is just the, one of the best products I've seen out there. And there was a lady that contacted me yesterday uh, who was dealing with cancer. And I told her to go to Dr. Shindell's website and, and his laboratory to get these cancer tests to get the numbers of where she's at and then go back later and get the numbers of where she's at to see three months later. So she went back. This is one of the items she's been taking to reduce the, the, the cancer cells. And all her numbers are in range now. Well, most of them are in range. They were completely out of range and in range now. It's working and this works. It's a full program. There's no magic potion out there and it's not one thing that's going to get you better. But you want to do all the things that are going to get you better. And it's from your mental thinking, from your spiritual beliefs and practices. But you, but but when you have colon issues, it's your diet, your supplements, and things like this that are really tremendously important. So uh, please don't give up hope and and don't be in despair if you're suffering. It's not gonna the healing won't happen overnight. It took many years to get yourself in a place of an illness. 
So the heal is not necessarily going to happen overnight, but it will happen. You need to be patient. You need to be patient. And if you're feeling a little stomach pain or something else, that's time to, it's always time to improve your diet, but that's really time to stop ignoring these things or making excuses and do something about it. And if you get diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, contact me. If you're suffering from it, contact me. I'm not going to take your money to, to talk to you about it. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get better. Okay. And, uh, you know, but this is one of the things I, I definitely recommend you get because uh, it's, it's helped so many people that I've been working with and I'm really impressed with it. Uh, the link to it is below the video and also the link to the study about colitis is below the video. All right. Uh, and uh, you all have a, a blessed day out there and stay hopeful and faithful and uh, eat healthy. Remember, life is supposed to have a food process, to uh, a, a food cycle to it. You have a freshness stage, a ripening stage, and a, and a dying stage. This is, is a food or rotting stage. This is what food should be. You take something like a McDonald's hamburger, you could leave it in that box or in that container now, and it'll stay there for the next 20 years. It'll just get hard and be right there. It doesn't have a process to it. Food is supposed to have a life process to it. And when you think about that, you think fresh fruits and vegetables. A ripening stage, a freshness stage, and a rotting stage. Eat it at the right time and the right amount, you're going to be okay. All right. Have a blessed day, everybody, and thanks for watching. And uh, please share this video with anyone you know who's suffering from inflammatory bowel disease. Have a great day and a great world life.